problem number 3 the temperature coefficient of resistance of a wire is 0 0.00125 per degree celsius at 300 k its resistance 1 ohm at what temperature will the resistance be 2 ohms this is based on temperature coefficient of resistance the resistance of metallic wires increase with temperature alpha is called the temperature coefficient of resistance okay now if uh, t is the temperature in celsius rt is the t can be either in celsius or in kelvin no problem uh, rt represent the resistance of the wire at this given temperature r0 at 0 degree and then this is the relation if we have two different temperature t1 and t2 and respectively the resistance are r1 and r2 then alpha equal to r2 minus r1 by r1 t2 minus r2 t1 we are going to use this formula for this calculation so substituting 0 0 1 2 5 2 minus 1 divided by 1 into t2 minus 2 into t1 we can use temperature either in kelvin or in celsius so cross multiplying we get t2 minus 600 equal to 1 by 0 0.001 1 to 5 I am going to write as 1.25 10 power minus 3 for the sake of calculation 1 by 1.25 is 0 0.8 so this becomes 0 0.8 into 10 power 3 which is equal to 800 so t2 minus 600 equal to 800 or t2 is 1400 kelvin this option in Kelvin, the option in Kelvin we have to check. So, we see this option 1400, but option D 1400 Celsius. Therefore, option D, even though the number is correct, it is not correct answer. Now, how will we convert Kelvin to Celsius? Subtract 273 subtract 273 so 11 27 degree celsius so the correct answer is 11 that is 1127 degree celsius correct option is c so you have to be careful here because sometimes they mix up kelvin and celsius the numerical value may be correct but the unit is not all right so option correct option is 